I wouldn't recommend driving uh, and swinging in this at the same time. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You'll meet the coolest women on the road. And this is the division between the living room and the, and the bedroom. If it's your dream, go live it. My name is Kari D'Andrea, and my bus here is named Willow. I have been traveling for two, almost two years, be two years in January. I am full time. Uh, and there's been a, a lot of progression over the past two years of what we're about to see now. We are in the kitchen and I got this really nice deep sink from uh, Restoration Hardware for $5. It has proved to be a really great um, size. I tend to wash my hair in here. You can give yourself a little spray shower in here. I do not have a shower in my bus. So the sink is absolutely where, like this is the heart of the home, I guess. This is the water. Um, Berkey, everything I uh, get is, not everything, but often it's non-pot potable uh, and I have not had an issue. So I just put everything through the Berkey uh, and it's my favorite water. It's very clean. Um, and I feed, I have water for the dogs. I have water for cooking and I have water for drinking in here. My countertop is a rubber wood and I absolutely had to have this curve right here because there's, I didn't want any points here. And yet this countertop here also has a curve. I didn't want a point there either. I got my cabinets from Lowe's and they're just the little 18 inch wide cabinets and inside them is very organized and I have very few dishes. Um, this is basically my, my, my dishes and uh, works great. I've got a couple pots and pans down there. These are my jars. I've got some, right now there's rice, granola, gummy bears, cause yeah, I gotta have gummy bears. This is a fridge. Um, the refrigerator is very small and it actually pulls a lot of power, more than I thought. And I know because the door swings open that that's part of the issue. But I put a freezer under the bed. So I have a full freezer and a full fridge. I, I opted not to do the cabinets just, just because I wanted to keep this space wide open. And uh, so I just screwed these in. And honestly, they haven't, they don't move. Um, and I've got my dried, dried food in here, some olive oil, salt, pepper, peanut butter. Um, I, I'm a tea drinker. Um, I blend my own tea. This is my Earl Grey in here. Um, and I just use a jet boil that's up here, a bottle of wine. So this is really my, my go-to everyday stuff. From the kitchen, I consider this the hallway. Uh, it's sort of a catch-all area. And underneath here, and I'm starting to see this more, these are uh, metal lockers. And they have a magnet, so they don't even need to be locked, although you could lock them. But that's my my uh, clothing storage area right there. Um, and then I put this bedside table here, which gives me plenty of space to put my book down or my, my notes, whatever I'm doing. Right here is uh, just a little catch-all, but it suits this area really well as a, a little side table, coffee table, if you will. Uh, I have to say that when people first come onto the bus, the first thing they notice and or make a, a comment about is this screen. Um, this was in the trash and I just sort of uh, cut it up a bit to fit into that curvy space. And this is the division between the living room and the, and the bedroom. Um, and it works out well for just having little, little shelf space and, and whatnot. I put up two of these little lights. So I've got a reading lamp here and uh, over here is the other one. And it's like my bedside table light. Um, this is my couch slash guest room. This is an actual twin size bed, extra narrow, which I didn't know that they made, but that's a good tip for people trying to squeeze in something over here. So it's an extra narrow twin on a, just a Home Depot metal frame. Underneath I've got storage. So I say like, that's my storage space as well as my cabinets and the, and the lockers. Moving on to my closet. This is just uh, hooks, black hooks that I screwed up into the wooden ceiling and every hook has maybe five or six hangers uh, and it works beautifully. When I look back in my life, um, I've had a couple of pretty cool experiences that have changed me and for, for the better. Um, the first one was putting on a backpack and, and just all by myself, heading out to uh, Europe, getting on an airplane. Uh, and moving around with a backpack for a lot, almost a year. 
Uh, after that, I came home and I, no, I'm sorry, before that, long story short, I lived on a sailboat for two years. Um, so living on a sailboat, living out of a backpack, uh, both times were freeing. Uh, I only had a certain amount of clothing to choose from. I met very interesting people. Uh, I went where I wanted to go. I saw things I wanted to see. I didn't have to check in with anybody. Uh, and, I, and I really enjoyed those two different times in my life. So when this became an opportunity for me, which by the way, was a very accidental uh, journey. I did not plan on living in a bus. It was just happened. Um, I saw the opportunity and I just, I went with it. I, I converted this bus um, by myself pretty much I, with, with the help of my very good friend Brad and uh, he did all the solar and stuff. Uh, we didn't talk about solar, but um, I am now enjoying this phase, I guess, of my life uh, living in a, a very small space. So it must be that I really enjoy small spaces. We are now in the bedroom, and this is at the back of the bus. Typically, uh, you find the bedrooms in the back of a bus, whether it's 20 feet or 45 feet. It's typically where the bedroom is. This is a Japanese futon with a like a mattress cover on top. It's very soft. It's firm, too, because it's on a platform. Everybody has a platform. So the bedroom is super duper cozy for me. My dogs sleep with me in here, and I've got a TV, a Max Air vent, uh, and then a little more storage. Uh, I sleep in a sleeping bag. So at night I just pull my sleeping bag down and I sleep in a sleeping bag. So it, my bed's really easy to make. This is called Geek Air and it has a battery on it and I've got it plugged in typically. So this one's always charging. I've got a second one that I'll charge and take outside with me. It's great mosquito um, like push away. Like you can put the fan outside and not have mosquitoes come at you. Um, but they have a great um, pressure, whatever. They're, they're really good air and they last forever. The battery lasts forever. I, I highly, highly recommend. They're a little hot, expensive, but this is on at night. I do not have air conditioning. So at night I've got this on, it covers the, you know, the bed. And then I put a, a fan on the, on the bedside table and have that at me and, and, and I'm all right. It's a little hot, but it's all right. Depends on where I'm at. We're now in the front of the bus. And this is, um, everybody has a front of the bus. I do not have a passenger seat, but I do have a swing. Um, I wouldn't recommend driving uh, and swinging in this at the same time, but this is a great way to uh, have a little extra room for, for company. So you can sit in here and then along the couch. So I love my swing. This I use constantly. You can also put it outside, use it like a hammock. Right here, I've got a cedar, um, like a planter that I cut. And I put my dog bowls and my dog food in here. So this is a cassette toilet. It's a Thetford. And honestly, I don't know if we can advertise, but I've had a couple others before this one. And I love, 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 love. It's very easy to get the top on and off. It's very easy to empty. And if I want to cover it, I can. So before I got in this bus to travel, uh, aside from the other small uh, space things I've done, I was in a farmhouse. So the farmhouse was great. I renovated it as two bedrooms, two bathrooms, really cute, loved it, five acres of land. Uh, and I'd go on a trip in the bus and I'd come back and I'd, I wouldn't want to stay in the house. I would just stay in the bus in the driveway until I could leave again. And I only stayed home for maybe a week or two before I had to get, before I went out again. Um, so I decided to make a little income. Why don't I rent the farmhouse and buy a tiny house on wheels? So I have a, I did. I had a, a piece of the land uh, got, what do you call that for a, a you know, cement pad. Uh, we put the tiny house on there uh, and I'm like, cool. So now I'm gonna come home for my trips and uh, I'll be in a tiny house. It won't be like such a weird transition to a big space. I came home, went in the tiny house and was like, nope turned right back around and got in my bus and I lived in my bus in the driveway in the tiny of the tiny house. Um, love that house. It's, it's also off grid, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I kept living in the bus. So now I'm going to rent the tiny house out. So by accident, I have two little, um, you know, streams of income that I didn't plan, but they'll help me. They'll help fund my trip, my travel.
This is my outdoor kitchen, I guess. Uh, it's made of teak and it has lasted for two years. It's gotten that beautiful silver gray teak color, hasn't warped or anything like that. A lot of people ask me, it's just two brackets, just two brackets, because the, the brackets uh, go all the way into the bus and on the other side, I bolted it on. So they're not going anywhere and they just click and go down. I just got this actually, and I love it. It's a butane stove, you probably all see this. Um, butane's not easy to get, but you can get it when you see it by a lot and then you'll have extra. So uh, yeah, I do a lot of cooking right here. And this was my grandmother's cast iron pan. I know nothing about cast iron pans, but some people tell me this is like an antique, but I wouldn't really know how to determine that. So this is the back of the bus. Uh, these emergency bus hatch doors are wonderful. It lets a ton of air in. This is my bed. So this is where I can hang out, chat with my friends, even in the morning and sip my tea. Um, underneath, this is called the garage. Uh, I do have a diesel heater in there. I just put that in, I'm loving it. This is my freezer. So when I go to a good farmer's market, I stock up on, on nice meats and anything I can freeze, I throw it in there. This is my Starlink cable that um, actually goes through the door with a, this thing's pretty, pretty neat, I'm gonna show it to you. It's just a little, you drill a hole in the bus and you insert this little uh, gaskety thing it doesn't let any water in. And then you can close your door and still have cords running in and getting power. And this goes, this one goes up to the mount and the Starlink, which is a brand new addition and I'm loving it so far to the bus. Um, extra gas for in case I break down or the, I need the motorbike. So I decided to buy a dirt bike and the question was, how am I going to take it with me and still be able to get into the back of my bus and open my door. So my mechanic went ahead and just added a receiver. I think he uh, welded and bolted it to the frame. And I went ahead and bought just a typical motorcycle rack. And it's nice and low. I mean, easy enough for me to get it on and get it off. So if you're thinking about carrying a bike and you don't want to block your back door, highly recommend getting a front end hitch like this. If you're a single female and you want to go on the road, get a bus or a van and get on the road. Do it. There is, n I have never one time felt at like any dis-ease or any fear. I mean, I've been into the remotest of the remotest places. Uh, honestly, the city is where I feel the most uh, uh, alert. That's when I'm the most alert. Out in the middle of nowhere, I mean, it might be a bear, you know, that, that I could that I could come across, but no, like, you know, I can, I can take care of myself now. I got two dogs, you can hear him barking. He's pretty ferocious sounding, but he, he wouldn't hurt you unless I think you were. Anyway, if you're a single female traveler, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You'll meet the coolest women on the road. You'll meet the coolest women on the road. If you have thought about doing this, or if it's a dream of yours, many people say you're living the dream. I mean, I, if I had a nickel for every time someone said that when they walked in here, someone that's not doing it. You're living the dream. If it's your dream, go live it, do it. So thanks for checking out my bus. I enjoy sharing it with all of you uh, and I'll see you down the road.